everyone, Amy here. Today I'm going to talk about Eccentric's new Spring 2015 impressions of their collection. Eccentric is an awesome brand. They put everything they're going to release in this season online in a catalog so you can see it and get amazed and know what to save your money on or that you won't have to buy anything because you don't like anything. But it's amazing. It took them like two weeks to put it up. And I know, or maybe three, I know. They've been releasing stuff for a while and it's been ticking me off that they <laughs> took so long. I think it was because they had the sale and they wanted you to buy something from the sale so they didn't want to impress you with nice annuities. So um, in honor of that, I'm wearing the uh, Victorian Banquet, which was the autumn release, which is my favorite, I guess, release season of Eccentric that I had so far. It was so pretty autumn. It has these wonderful uh, designs on it. So pretty. But. We're talking about 2015 spring. Just a warning, all these pictures are from the Eccentric website and the Eccentric brand. Go buy for them, support them. If you do not live in Japan, they do not ship overseas. Learn a Little is their official kind of overseas distributor. So click there. If any other company tries to say, you know, we make this dress and it's not Eccentric, then you know that they're copying and using stolen photos. My vlog link is down below, so if you want to listen to me talk about the photos with the photos there all the time, click there and there it goes. And I am going to look at my phone to cheat, so I'm cheating and looking down, so if you see that, that is what that is. So the 2015 Spring Collection is called Crystal Palace. It's about the you know, palace that was in Hyde Park in London uh, that got burned down, so ew. Uh, so a lot of the themes for it are Victorian era kind of feelings. The print for this comes in blue and pink and has these nice kind of birds and scientific looking drawings of flowers and bugs and you know when I think of Victorian I think of you know people studying at home, the, the home studyist learning about botany and stuff like that and it really reminds me of that. It comes in um, two style of dresses. One of them is this very kind of laxidatical uh, baby stylish cut and I think, you know, I like it, but at the same time I think like I have another dress that looks similar to this by Eccentric. And <laughs> so just me, I know Eccentric is very flowy with like, here, have a corset. There you go. That's your waist. And it always seems like the model when they're not wearing the corset, Camille, Camille's model is kind of much bigger than she is. It comes with two different style dresses and a skirt and a blouse. It comes in pink and blue. Uh, I kind of like the blouse and I think the skirt uh, could be nice to have, but I don't think I'm going to get it. Though I do think the blouse is nice. And it seems like it's enough, like just have that and the rest of your outfit black or maybe strip a vest on it and you'll be good to go. I don't like super sewy things, maybe with the background with black I would like it more. I do like the blue over the pink more. <laughs> Same with that, they have a corset skirt which is very eccentric like, uh, black, you know, e eccentric 101. <laughs> they do have this nice uh, dress that I'm looking for, organdy dress which Gandhi is cotton, so I'm going to it's cotton, and it has these cute adorable stripes where it's like uh, normal stripe, see-through stripe, normal stripe, see-through stripe, which I think is lovely and wonderful. It is a very eccentric cut. Uh, as you can see, the model has that corset on or else it'd be flowing in the wind. <laughs> uh, it looks like it comes in a blue and I'm going from a shirt that I'm seeing that kind of looks like it might be the same thing. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and maybe this kind of lavender-ish purple? Eccentric likes purple, so I can't tell what that would be. I I do like this dress, but depending on the color, I might or might not get it. Yeah, it looks like a nice, easy, relaxing fit cut. The blouse, I think, is really pretty, but that blue color, it's so intensely blue that I'm just like, ugh. With that blouse is a denim corset dress, and it, this is different because usually Eccentric they do like an undervest kind of dress when they do these trenches. They had this purple kind of wizardy looking outfit too, which was an underbust one, and this one covers the whole bust area, so that seems really in different and interesting and neat, but it's denim, so I don't care. <laughs> denim to me is always kind of 
cheap. And it reminds me of cowboys. Maybe it's because of my text. Like, I don't like denim. I once had a cotton skirt that looked like denim. I was just like, no, no, not after a while. It just wasn't going to do it for me. The next one is this Dolly Dream uh, dress. It, I think, again, I think it's purpley pinkish kind of color. It has a drop waist and this very much reminds me of the 20s. It's cute. I would never wear it, but it's cute. Somebody might like it. It kind of goes with this dress. There's a dress they have that is pink they showed that also has kind of this 20 fears it has a high neckline and uh the bust or the waist cut is kind of way up above your bust so it looks really pretty it comes with like this dinner jacket thing too um it does look kind of short from what i can tell so i don't know on me like eccentric would be really good if it had another inch and the sleeves or two so I think it would be really short on someone who, you know, 150 centimeters, which is what I am. So yeah, it looks neat and different. Again, I don't like it, <laughs> but it does look neat and different. The next one is this pinstripe skirt with this awesome looking good gold trim cape. I am such a, you know, cape fanatic that I'm like, oh my, this is so stunning with that corset skirt and that blouse underneath. She just looks like she's going to stare at you and you're gonna turn to a stone like oh <laughs> it's so awesome i really like this um i once had a corset skirt by eccentric it was a really old one and i had a bad experience with it <laughs> i had to eat uh, i went to a writer's meetup and it was a workshop and we didn't i had to go early so i couldn't really get a big breakfast and it met late so i didn't really get a little lunch and then my waist is being restricted by this corset so i had this horrible like uh, feeling for the last hour of it so i'm kind of leery about getting another corset skirt by them i don't know if this one is a corset is it a corset and a yeah this one i can't tell if the corset is attached to the skirt i'm not 100 sure but I love pinstripes and capes, and this looks awesome. Like, look at Camille. She just looks like, ah, oh, I'm so cool. You can't look at me. I'm that awesome. <laughs> Which I think is amazing. To me, that's what every mature person should be this incredibly stunning. Like, ah, oh, you can't look at how stunning I am. You can't possibly talk to me. Um, that was intended. The next one, Camille is under some glass. It's cute. It's the typical eccentric style jumper skirt. It has the awesome um, pinstripes, not pinstripes, but rather kind of like a, it has the gold trim on it, which is really fun and reminds me of a stand standard uh, regimental print. Very pretty. Um, I like it. I wouldn't get it because, you know, same thing as always. Oh, the next one is this blouse. I don't know what this blouse is called. Does it have a name? I can't see my text. Uh, a sh I think it's just called Sheer Blouse on it. I think it's Ronin, the Ronin Sheer Blouse. Oh, it has the shearing around the waist and the shearing around the arm. It just looks so incredibly awesome and pretty and wonderful. And I want it and I'm going to get it in both colors because, oh my, it's so pretty. It looks so comfortable and just so cozy and blouses are something that I would like with skirts because they don't yeah blouses they look so pretty i want those they look so nice and comfortable and just so cozy don't you like cozy blouses oh cozy blouses oh this next one i thought was really interesting it's a sailor dress and it has this awesome seafoam color like that is so this color is seafoam like little mermaid beware we got your color and it has that gold trim on it. It does. It looks really pretty. I love that color. I hope more things from this release is in that color, but it's hard to see. But that color is so awesome. It looks like it would be really hard to quarter with because it's it's basically seafoam. How many other dresses are seafoam colored? So pretty. Very sailor-esque country with sidewalks on the beach. Very pretty. I, I do like that very much. And that was it. You know, they had some other looks, but it was already released. Like, I already saw the pre looking look. Who cares about the pre look? Who cares about the fridge? You already released them. I'm not excited about them. Mm. <laughs> Take that, eccentric. So yeah, I think overall it was good. I liked it more than the winter release, which is what I what I got a dress and like a kite pin. So I like it more than that. I for sure like the blouses. I think those blouses are awesome. I do like some of the corset skirts because Eccentric is just knows how to play corset skirts up. The print I think is also cute, but the color is very twa-like and 
interesting, but the cuts of the dresses are really similar to other dresses I have and other eccentric items in general. I sometimes wish they would have a more defined waist sometimes. I know they want you to get a corset so you can get the corset and be like, bam, here's my defined waist, but sometimes I wish it would. If the underbust areas was just a bit wider, I think it would make, make it much better. Um, so what did you think of the eccentric 2015 Crystal Palace release? Did you think it was awesome and amazing? Or are you left saying eccentric makes something different? Like jump on the print bandwagon and just make a bunch of prints because people like prints. Oh my, I would hate eccentric if they do that. Don't do that to me, eccentric. Don't turn into a print princess. I don't think they will. I hope not. Um, so tell me what you thought, what was some of your favorite items, are you going to buy anything you already know that you're saving up money for? Uh, so until next time, bye bye.